Welcome back, everyone. We're deep in the belly of the beast. Uh, we said that Sarah would be joining us for this episode, but unfortunately she had to go. So she will be joining us for our conclusion episode where we kind of do the wrap-up of Metal Gear uh, Solid 2, which will be coming up real soon. What the fuck? <laughs> Good night. Why would you do that to Snake? He snores, too. Do a, do, do a, a Snake fan on top of Snake. That is oh, the, a, is, the wall's too close. Is that like? Would that be like a mega snake fan if you did that? <laughs> I think so, it would. Yeah, it won't let me. Double do it bladed now. snake fan. I have to wake him up now. Dude, his butt's breathing. <laughs> <laughs> his butt. I think that's farting. Oh, I know. I know what to do. I know. Did you get snake's dog tags? Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> <I'm a kid>. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me a damn kid. Whoa, he kicked my ass. Bleeding. I know. Hold on, let me sit for a second. Let me do some squatting. I love that we're like the finale of the game and we're just still dicking around. <laughs> Classic us. Uh oh, got a Tengu fight. Oh man, here it comes. Game is going haywire at this point. But I mean, I love this shit. Yeah, it's I love awesome. this shit. And this, we, we're finally seeing the big action set pieces that were shown to us at the trailer at the beginning of the game. Oh, yeah, huh? This is the only glimpse that you get of Raiden at the beginning of the game is when he's fighting back to back with Snake. Man, I think their butts are going to touch. What happens with that? They're finally going to touch butts. World ends. <laughs> it's like crossing the streams. <laughs> they become the most unstoppable soldier ever. <laughs> Lock they, butts. They're they, beautiful. <laughs> they fuse butts. They lock butt cheeks so nobody can get behind them. Oh my god. <laughs> and they just spin around. Yeah. That's like army of two. Two two cheeks. I guess it'd be four cheeks. I love how, like, Kill Bill the violence is with the sword. Yeah. Very, Sp uh, sprays of blood everywhere. Well, it's supposed to be like a samurai film. Like an exploit- like a Japanese exploitation samurai it's film. It's also It's I so easy. Whoa. There it is, fishing mailed. This part, it, I was like, "What oh, happened?" Yes. You genuinely think, like, no matter how many times I've played this game, I always genuinely think Thank that you, I yeah. fucked up. This like, is what happened. This is the part that fucking sold me. And like I said earlier, I was almost out. I was almost rage quitting. I'm done with this game, and we got to this part, and I'm like, I will follow this series to the ends of the earth because of this crazy fucking shit. Emit continent. <laughs> And it keeps doing it too. Fish and mailed. I'm gonna get a fucking tattoo of that on my face. <laughs> my god. Just get it on your eyeballs. Well, I have fishing on one eyelid and mailed on the other eyelid. It's funny, because no matter, I feel like no matter how good you really are at this game, Snake is always kicking more ass than you. Well, I think that's supposed to be like what Josh was saying earlier that if you wanted to do this non lethal, Snake would take care of most of it for you. Plus. You're supposed to like. Is he stealing people before I, before I can even get to them? You're oh, supposed shit. to want to be Sorry, Solid Snake. Snake as well. Yeah. So, he's got a longer life bar and all that stuff. Well, he's also the OP. You know, as far as the ver yeah, the VR is, <laughs> he's down OP. Just <laughs> as far as the VR is considered in that interpretation, where he is programmed to be the super soldier, that would explain it. Here's your favorite character, Josh. Here's where he takes a bullet for you. It's those tan legs. Yeah. So I, I couldn't... She's got tears. They really focus tears on her legs a lot. Tears embedded on her eyes. But um, it's one of those things where I was trying to figure out what fortune looks like. And I, I it's uh, she's a Genguro girl, which is a type of uh, fashion in Tokyo. Uh, it was popular in the 90s, but uh, I think the actual definition of it are uh, girls who uh, wear uh, artificial tanning, like tanning lotion, and they bleach their hair bright yellow. Ew. Oh my god, gross. Uh, it's supposed to be that it is like a punky rebel sort of do because what it does is it inverts traditional Japanese uh, oh, modes of beauty because okay. yeah, they, they tan dark their hair. skin and, and bleach hair. their hair. Yeah, because uh, it's supposed to be fair skin and black hair is the traditional mode of beauty. So I guess fortune is supposed to be shocking That's in that sense. That's kind of cool though. Even though she's not Japanese. <laughs> Fortune's American. Yeah, but yeah. Is she supposed to be black? I think she is. Yeah, because Dolph, Dolph is black, right? Oh, you leave it up to Snake, the impossible. She has tears in her fucking eyes. I know. He's and about to take a railgun to the chest for you. <laughs> it's too bad that uh, Sarah couldn't, or Soul couldn't be here for this, uh, and she's going to come back. But uh, I really... Fucking gun's the size of an 18-wheeler. <laughs> well, I love it. It's supposed to be mounted to a Metal Gear. I love it. It's so fucking big. And this is supposed to be like her revenge story. 
like you know she's yeah, but, going to avenge her father but the thing about it is is what she believes about snake is not true so she's going about it all the wrong ways but isn't everyone in this game even raiden is yeah that's true. the whole thing is oh, mistake too much mistaken identity and and things not being what we're told they are um, but apparently Kojima, uh, on Fortune real quick, Kojima said that uh, Fortune was supposed to be the opposite of Rose, where Rose was the iconic woman. She's supposed to be, or no, Rose is supposed to be the ideal woman. Uh, uh, Fortune is supposed to be the iconic woman, like an action hero. Oh, okay. How did he get up here on a ladder? <laughs> I've I, always wondered that. Is it just supposed to be that he's hallucinating? There's no explanation for this room other than the idea. It has to be simulation. It's some Silent Hill shit, man. I mean, there's the only reason... That's the only thing that makes sense. I mean, the the floor is a screen that goes down for like at the bottomless it's like pit. An, it's like an infinity mirror. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't make any sense. And also, right now is we're at we're at an iconic fight. We're at the the Metal Gear Ray fight. You know, there's always a Metal Gear fight in all the games. But in this one, rather than fighting one Metal Gear, which is almost impossible in any other game, you have to fight fucking like 25 of them. There's no, there's no, w there's no logical way that one person can take out 25 Metal Gears when it took one to sink the taker at the beginning of the game. Yeah, it's funny because he was just like, he was saying that you may have to take on multiple Metal Gears and Snake goes, I think we could handle it. And I think it's funny, just like, there's no way Snake would actually feel that way. Right. There's if, no way because he would, he would be like, I could barely fucking take down one and I had a goddamn cy cybernetic ninja exactly. on my side. Exactly, yeah. There's no way we could take down that many. That seems like something that an idealistic snake would say or like an action hero would say. You mean not a fake snake? A fake snake. I don't know. I just think that, that that's not in his character to say that. You came in handy as bait. So here's also more, more fucking Raiden backstory. Solidus. Well, now, not only is Raiden a fucking child soldier murderer, uh, he's also in a simulation that it, the whole point of it is to recreate the Shadow Moses incident so that they could turn, hypothetically, turn Raiden into the next solid snake. And so even in story, it's technically kind of... It's technically kind of a VR simulation. Mm. And if you notice, he is denied victory every single fight. Yeah. The Harrier, he doesn't finish off the Harrier. It escapes. Right. right. Uh, he can't do fortune. Although he does get uh, Fat Man. He does get Fat but Man. But Fat Man gets him with the... Bomb. Like, I, left you, I left a bomb yeah. beneath me. Um, also, why does... <laughs> why does Solidus have rocket boots? <laughs> He's got, like, rocket stroller skates, just like that uh, Fat Man does. Uh, he, like... He shoots around on him. They're like Heelys. He's got like sci-fi Heelys. He does have sci-fi Heelys. It's like it's like the the Back to the Future version of Future. Where yeah. It's like Heelys that are <laughs> rockets. I I love Ray's design. I mean, he's no Rex, but I love Ray's design. It's a pretty sweet design. Like Rex is very utilitarian, and Ray is very sleek and modern, futuristic as is fitting. And it's bleeding. Knee, face, knee, face. Man, what a fuck. I mean, look at all those life gauges. Just think about the first Metal Gear, and you, you had to struggle so hard to take out one Metal Gear. Now you're fighting 25 of them. Can you do it on your first go? Probably yeah, not. Let's see this. No pressure, Dora. You can do it. Also, how are they shooting rockets at you when you're in a fucking boat and, like, none of these bullets are anything going anywhere? I think it's cool that like you can see all the other Metal Gears in the silhouette in the background. They just kind of like recede into the distance. Also, you're in the middle of the Metal Gear, but there's no, there's no horizon. There's no yeah, there's no wall. There's no horizon. There's and there's clouds. Like oh, there's an atmosphere. It's super weird. Exactly. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. It just. It doesn't make any logical sense. It is. And every level, this has to be a simulation. Even if you don't agree that the whole game's been a simulation, at least this part inside of inside of the arsenal is some sort of... I'd say it's like a danger room, like an X-Men danger room. Nice dodge. <laughs> Max Payne style. I like that they like kind of dance around. Oh, shit. I didn't hear those rockets go off.
So an interesting little tidbit um, for a lot of battles in this game. Originally, Kojima wanted to have a split screen system so that instead of being interrupted during all the boss battles, like you were escorting EE and you're doing the sniper and, and you're trying to line up a shot and you kept getting interrupted with Codex, he wanted to have a split screen system where on one side of the screen would be a cutscene or cinematic and on the other side of the screen, you'd be able to play the game. Huh. So cool. right now, so instead of Solidus coming out and talking to you and, f and freezing everything, the rays would have already have come out while Solidus is talking to you on the other side of the screen. Which would have completely changed the dynamics of this Maybe game. It's like a DS sort of. Well, well here's the. He realized it in MDS4. Exactly. And what fight is that? It's a Metal Gear fight. Yeah. It's, with the, Vamp. it's the Rex Vamp. Yeah. It's craziness. Like, it's kind of a remake of this. It, with Who's there? Raiden. Yeah. A little bit of a spoiler. I should put a spoiler for that. Who cares? 2008, but, yeah, man. Yeah. Get with it. <laughs> Get with it. Uh, <laughs> 2008, man. Get with it. But yeah, that's almost like, I, I think this is that level that Kojima really wanted to have that split scene okay, system God is why he it. reintroduced it into Metal Gear Solid 4. Now, the irony being, why her, Yeah, why did he only use it for that one cutscene and not the rest of the game? Because that game is nothing but nonstop fucking cutscenes. He does do, doesn't he do it with uh, Snake in the Microwave Hall? He uh, does. He does. And there's so, what else is going on? Uh, was that Raiden fighting the dudes? and Meryl, Meryl and Johnny got oh. shot about 20 million times. God, I just threw up my fucking mouth. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna probably throw up a spoiler because we're literally just discussing the ending of Metal Gear Solid 4. <laughs> yeah, might have to break out the exclamation point. I haven't used those in a while. Yeah. Go to hell. I should have said that. I, I should have would, saved that to the last. I'd be really great if, like, every now and then, Raiden was, yeah. Raiden was just like, "Suck my dick." <laughs> I can't even imagine. Him I know saying that'd that. be so great. <laughs> so what do you I'm want? Sorry. What do you want? You're on. Oh, this I is, don't even know. I don't even know. This is Ray Rose. I'm zoning out. I actually really like this boss fight. Did you notice the Ray? Yeah, name it's is Ray Rose. Rose. Yeah. Is that supposed to be like a psychological jab? I don't know. What if it really is Rose? What if the AI is in that is Right, that that's gear? what I'm thinking. Like, it's a... Hey, if you didn't get it, Rose is an AI. Oh, you piece of shit. And I really wanted to... Like, I was trying to say earlier, I, I kind of wish that uh, Soul was still around because there are some things that I, I, I really want to get into about, like, the Fortune Rose thing because it really is strange that the idea of the ideal woman uh, is possibly not even a real person. And uh, there's a lot of things about like, are we even supposed to like Rose? Because she really is trying to humanize you. And she's, we're, we're talking about the stuff about Raiden being reborn and becoming his own character. And if anything, Rose, AI or not, she really does assist in that. She's kind of like a midwife where yeah. she's trying to get you to get to these rec these realizations. And it frustrates you as a player trying to play a balls out action game. But if you're looking at it from the point of view of it, the game's trying to make you stop and think about what you're looking at and what you're doing, uh, Rose is actually kind of a voice of reason throughout the game. And she's trying, we feel like she's interrupting us by interrupting the action, but what she's really doing is that she's calling things to your attention, telling you to slow down and think about what you're doing. Yeah. Try to think about who you're playing as and what this new character is. But in the meantime, just shoot these rays in the balls, man. Right in the mouth. Shoot them in the dick lasers. Yeah, I wonder, like, this is probably a really boring fight for people watching it, but it really is fun. I don't think it's boring. It's, I mean, it's interesting. Didn't you say that this is one of your favorite parts of the whole game, Dora? Yeah, I love this part. I've always loved this part. It's really fun. It's it's tense. I think that's part of what makes it so enjoyable. It is tense. It is extremely tense. It, 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 I guess it kind of reminds me of, uh, what's his name in that way? Uh, Vulcan. Vul not Vulcan. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll did Raven. That's what I did meant. you really do it that yeah. fast? Was that yeah. it? Yeah. No, there's no way. Oh my god, Dora. And again here he's denied victory. Every time. Oh yeah, he like even though I kicked its ass, he's still yeah. He doesn't get to This is where he gives up. Well it's fucking like however many uh, rays. How many do you have to take out, Josh? I think it's twenty five. Did you really take out twenty five? I don't feel like it was that many. They were going down pretty damn quick. It was like three rockets a piece, three rounds a piece. And also, it's the one of the first uh, fights that you're not getting any assistance from some someone. Well, I spoke too fucking soon. <laughs> but I mean, you didn't have someone like throwing ammo at you or anything. Right. It was just randomly appearing. You can do that when you're not dealing with real world. <laughs> you when, you're in the, when you're in a danger room. 
I'll hold them off. Give you time to get away. Also, I, I thought it was so lame that it was supposed to be revealed that it was Olga when it, when Mr. X clearly has a Russian accent through the entire game. I mean, who yeah. else? Who else has a Russian accent? Yeah. Gulukovich. <laughs> Vital signs to the Patriots. I don't know why he made her sound like Snake. That's crazy. So she's been trying to keep you alive as well. You really have been coddled totally coddled through this entire Seriously, thing the entire game is a is an escort mission for snake and olga everyone's trying to keep you alive <laughs> that's a pretty funny way to put it and like you've been you've been like rolling your eyes at ee -E because she's so pathetic you know and scared of everything but at the same time if you're olga and snake who have survived the tanker level so they're like old hands at this point in this game you know they really are rolling their eyes at this stupid guy who who's just can't get in on the on the plot he doesn't know what's going on oh that's so cheesy see you in hell <laughs> dr octopus it really uh, it's just that's undeniable like if you said dr octopus to kojima he'd probably be like yeah i know yeah that's i mean like there's no way he could deny that wait is this 2001 when did spider-man 2 come out this was definitely before Spider-Man 2. Why is he going all Ocelot with that P90? <laughs> well, he does hang out with Ocelot. He might he have shown him a couple yeah. things. Ooh, fuck. See, Jesus. That's probably the most graphic death. That's pretty brutal. Yeah. Why does it? Why was Olga the most graphic death that we've seen? I mean, Fat Man didn't dry, die yeah, graphically. That is kind of strange. Jesus. He died dignified, I mean, as far as he's concerned. Well, she did sacrifice herself. She was sacrificing herself. Yeah, but God damn, that was But it is kind of brutal. Remember how Soul was saying, how does she go out? Is it, you know, dignified? Is it, you know, violent? And we're like, it's violent. And she's like, ooh. Yeah, that was worst case scenario for what she was saying. That was, yeah, that was surprisingly neck. gruesome. She was definitely being punished. Her head for, kicked back and everything. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to think of any other, other than like Metal Gear Solid 4, where it starts getting more brutal in general. Like, I'm trying to think of another game where someone dies like that. Or like a Metal Gear game. Oh, Metal Gear game? Yeah, most people, most people. <laughs> Vulcan uh, Raven? Oh, when they gets start picked apart by Rivets. Yeah. <laughs> That's like cartoonishly, cartoonishly. Yeah. And you don't get to see it. It's just like, it's you implied. walk away and you yeah. come back and he's gone. Oh, when they start glitching, it's cool. Yeah. All employees proceed to Northern Platform. That is uh, Alien. <laughs> it is the, it's the klaxon from uh, Aliens. Do oh, I, this, it's so creepy the way they move when they're glitching. Yeah. It's just, it just kind of uh, gives you the willies. It's the, uh, yeah. It's the uncanny. Let's picture them giggling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that's creepier. I can't shut it down. What happened? Maybe some kind of virus. Some kind of virus. Is this Ocelot? Ocelot, what have you been up yep. to? It's too late. Arsenal system control is going haywire. It's oh, wait a minute. Did Ocelot give president the the? Did Ocelot give the pres like slip the president the uh, virus? Uh, I, I Ocelot has his hands in everything, so yes. Stupid machines. Stupid machines. It's getting swole. He's gonna get real swole, and then he swole flies this. into their mouth. Is that what just happened? It's what a weird action sequence this is. Man, my controller's going manners. All swole at a snake. Also, it's like really <laughs> swole at a snake. He's got his like weird like rocket boots. Uh, it, it really is dodging. trying to make Solidus look really cool at the like the last minute. Also, I mean, there's a couple things going on here. He's not really that cool. It's the power suit that's doing all that. Yeah. And secondly, how does this relate? I mean, if this is a VR room, right? So he's he's fighting. Like, why doesn't he just? I guess he can't turn it off. Is that what it is? Yeah, I think well, it's so. infected, yeah. right? Yeah. That's weird that he's supposed to look exactly like Big Boss. Except, Except the eye patch is on the wrong that's eye, That's on the right? wrong eye, yeah. And d depending on your, I guess, opinion on the Patriots, uh -oh. um, Shit. he's kind of the good guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's one of the things is that at, at the, again, spoiler alert, at the end of Metal Gear Solid 4, it kind of illustrates that everyone you thought was a bad guy was actually the good guy. Starting with Big Boss. I'm sorry. I think Snake's butt is nicer than Fortune's. Yeah. So, sorry, Fortune. <laughs> well, didn't Josh say earlier that he has the ultimate butt? Best <laughs> ass in the game. I think that what Kojima has said is that 
so, uh, Solidus isn't necessarily the bad guy in this game, is that he's trying to rid the world of the Patriots, mm-hmm. but he's doing it the wrong way. And he's like misguided. Exactly. Yeah. He's trying to fulfill, huh? kind of like Liquid, he's trying to fulfill Josh. the big bosses. He's trying to fulfill Big Boss's like legacy, but he's going about it the wrong way. So this is the part that I was actually thinking of where Oh, like a torture scene? Where there's a torture yeah, scene. Yeah, button mashing. He also denied that earlier. Son of you instead, my son. It's weird that this is like in a first person too. And so at this point you're you're kind of like Oof. you're proving yourself to be more competent than Olga. Because Olga was experiencing the same thing and she couldn't survive it. So in this sense, you're kind of like, you're you're establishing your authority over Olga. Like you're more competent than her, right. which is interesting. Which is because she was the parent. She was the parent that's overlooking you. And now you've. Now she's dead. You've kind of replaced yeah. her too, because you found out that you're going to be a father, whether or not that's true or not. Man, that's, fortune really that, is wearing like a thong. That suit is just painted on. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wetsuit missing most of it. <laughs> You were going to screw me over. Weren't Everyone's you? always going to screw each other over. Can everybody just be honest? <laughs> it wouldn't be a Metal Gear game if that was <laughs> the case. Be, Ryan should say that. Like, he should be the one to be like, can't we all just be honest here? Let's just get real, guys. <laughs> be a lot simpler, man. We can work it out. <laughs> also, I should point out that um, Solidus, his plan, has he talked about what his plan is yet? I don't remember. Oh yeah, he's talking about it right now. Okay, he's going to it right now. Against a large attack force without support, Arsenal is nothing more than a gigantic coffin. Seizing Arsenal gear was never the real objective. What was your objective then? A list of names of the Patriots. The Patriots. Huh? Oh man, we're gonna run a little long, guys. We're at like fucking, we're balls deep. Doesn't that look like Hitler in the bottom right? They're all Hitler. Bum bum bum. Oh. All oh the patriots. All the patriots are Hitler. <laughs> so these are all fake. Boy, twist. So these are all fake, right? These aren't pe- these these are not the real patriots. Right, they're AIs, right? right? Yeah. I don't even know if I'm going to bother pointing up a spoiler for that because, like, at this point, this story is so mismatched and weird. Like, it doesn't really make a difference. Well, some of it's not even canon, right? So... How do you mean? Well... well it depends on your perspective, yeah, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Well, there's the twist... Metal Gear Solid 4 kind of made a lot of things canon that could be dismissed as, like, well, that didn't actually happen. The twist at the end of this game, there is a twist at the end that we're kind of referring to, but it doesn't go anywhere. It never explains it. damage their power source the mindless masses that they control so basically what solidus is his plot is is that he's going well originally what you thought he was doing is that he was extracting um he was extracting energy from the seawater which um is basically he's like doing cold fusion so he was making a power reactor which is actually the same plot Mm. From Solid Snake, where Big Boss was using Oilix. Actually, I think it's MSX. Yeah, the Outer Heaven Rising. He's using Oilix to make uh, ener- like make oil out of uh, raw substances. So, a lot of the plot in this game of what you think people are doing are actually rehashes of the plots from the other games. Oh, that's funny. By the way, did anyone notice how tiny Ocelot's yes. feet are? God, I was thinking that right <laughs> now. He wears like size. Three in children's shoes. Like his his got, foot had been bind, binded when he was younger. <laughs> I think he's got Yosemite Sam feet. He does have Yosemite Sam feet. Ooh. Ooh. He's got the mustache, all right. Oh, yeah. It's not the meat of the project. Also, uh, Solidus's plot for the Warheads is actually the exact same plot from Goldeneye, which Alex Trevelin's plot was to explode Warheads over London. Which is also stolen from the plot of Goldfinger, but I'll get it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. An orchestrated recreation of Shadow Moses. But isn't that the, that's again, what they're talking about. This is all a simulation just to recreate Shadow Moses. Yeah. So, I mean, even the idea that the plot of this game is stolen from a James Bond movie. Instead of Fox die virus, he get, he was given a real virus. An AI on disc. virus. Yeah. But I mean, the plot of this game is literally a remake. In te- I mean, how, 
how meta is that? That not only is it a remake of the plot of Metal Gear Solid One, which is a remake of the plot of Metal Gear Solid of Metal Gear Two Solid Snake. That at this the president <laughs> at this point uh, they're directly directly acknowledging the fact that you're just playing the same game over again, which is what you wanted with a sequel anyway. Yeah, it's what what else? I mean, that's the idea of uh, the players' expectations coming into this game that you just want another Metal Gear Solid game. Yeah, you want to play Metal Gear Solid One again. Yeah, and but and Kojima's like, oh, you want another Metal Gear game? I'll give you a Metal Gear game. Yeah, how do you like this? Oh, and you'll have Fat Man. <laughs> this is like one of the only games that I can think of that makes me feel stupid for playing it. And I, I'm sorry, that's I shouldn't have said that like without explaining first. But like, like this entire scene right here is just like everything we did was planned. Oh yeah, yeah. So fuck you for even trying. Right. And you're like, but. Oh, like, but, I was trying so hard. But don't like, you say, don't you think the same thing happened to Metal Gear Solid 1 when you were just there to be a carrier for Fox Die? So no matter what you did, it yeah, didn't matter. That's true. It's the same thing. But it's just in this thing. You were you were given closure and satisfaction and victory right, in that game. Right. Though. Whereas this game, you're denied it at every turn. But that's the idea, too, is that the whole idea is supposed to be the sense of, of helplessness and frustration and being denied victory and frustrating your expectations not giving you what you want while at the same time giving you exactly what you want so giving you a sequel but you got metal exactly. gear solid one remade right exactly. but not the way you wanted it so you know what would be interesting is if they made a remake of metal gear solid for the msx or i'm sorry metal gear solid either metal gear solid or the original metal gear for msx in fox engine because that's what everyone wants these days they want the high res remakes but it was like this, where it was fucked up and weird. Hmm. Just, well, just, I mean, how would you no feel Kojima, about that? No go. Well, I mean, well, that's true. But what if they did it in the spirit of Kojima? I don't think that anybody, he's on a different level. <laughs> I don't if, think people can get that close. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think that would be interesting, though. There I mean, are certain greats in the industry, and he's one of them up there with like Miyamoto and Miyazaki. Like, you can't. Yeah, you can't approach that. Like there are great designers, but like those guys are on another level. But it would be uh it would be interesting just the concept of it cuz it really would be a remake of a remake of a remake. <laughs> I mean, you would have to you would have to get meta with it. I'd be interested in seeing that. I think I just saw her vagina. Uh you saw a whole lot of Campbell too. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why it focused in on like I know it was her her gripping her hand, but that was unnecessary. It's all orchestrated. So I don't know if this is... Oh, except for real solid snake. Yeah, that's what I've been saying all the time, this whole time, is that he was the one part of the simulation that wasn't accounted for. Mm -hmm. But how true is that? I don't know if that's... I don't, I'm not sure. Because it still seems to work out for uh, Ocelot. And boom. Doesn't he hit her right in the heart? Well, there's actually... Yeah. There's actually a thing about Fortune that's... The one thing that actually is unique about her. The U.S. Navy did not design that suit. <laughs> There's no way. You made me bleed my own blood. What do you A man, again, uh, demoralizing the female characters where she, she's a puppet and that he's saying that you have no power other than the power that we gave you. I mean, they gave her her magic power of being invulnerable. They gave her her real gun. Um, and I, I guess it's... At the same time, it, she kind of goes through the same experience that Raiden does, where he's just everything they made him up to. But Raiden is given the ability to redeem himself. Even the bosses are fake in this game. It's just so... Yeah. It's so frustrating. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, it's interesting. That's the point. But that's the point. That's the point. Yeah. It's just one of those things where it's like, even the people that were like... Oh. That I was fighting and, and was excited about fighting I aren't even real. I think that's confirming what I was saying, what we were saying earlier. The reason at the beginning in the tanker level, when... Ocelot was surrounded by guards, mm -hmm. and he was t stealing the Arsenal or Metal Gear Ray. He was wearing the the belt that propelled bullets. That's why he got through that. Oh, that's why he had that Ocelot swagger, knowing that no one could hurt him. Oh, okay. So I think that they were just showing that that he that's why he was able to survive the tanker level. Thanks to the script the Patriots wrote for you, script computer language. Okay, so one of our one of our. Uh, uh, Viewers was commenting on that fact, going back and forth with me on that that scene about uh, Vamp 
getting killed, quote unquote, and dying in her arms. And like we were, I was complaining that it was completely unnecessary. And um, I'm going to touch on that on the conclusion episode coming up. But it actually does point out that the whole point of that scene was just Fortune indulging herself. And man, that's some camel toe right there. Um, indulging herself in her own like fucking emo drama. That it was completely. Un he actually says it like it's completely unnecessary. Hmm. It sort of also echoes um, looks like a Sniper Walkman. Wolf. Yes. It looks like the stealth camo, doesn't it? Yeah. And how come that never comes back into play? How come they never use that again? Yeah, why couldn't Snake use that in Metal Gear Solid 4? Yeah, it's just frustrating. It's also weird that he says that there's no such thing as the supernatural, but how does that explain Vamp in this game? Man, Ocelot is such a badass in this game. Yeah, no machines. Man, Ray's cool. <laughs> it is cool how his face comes apart like that. It's kind of like an alien predator sort of thing. Yeah, I've always really liked Ray. I thought he always looked really cool. He's got those glowing eyes. He looks goofy there. He does look super goofy. He looks out of his element. Yeah. Like, are you wearing a duster <laughs> inside of a fucking Metal Gear? Yeah, it's a cowboy inside of a fucking mech suit. I mean, that's crazy. Also, why does Solidus suddenly turn into a samurai? Like, that's too so weird. HF blades. Ocelot's not the only one that can... <laughs> he just, he's like, oh yeah, I'm captured. How the fuck does he like, a random... Like he forgot. How does a random bullet go right between his handcuffs and not, like, shoot him in the back or blow one of his I hands off? I don't think off? it actually, like... I don't think it actually damaged the chain. I think he just, he just like... I, yeah. He just remembered. He was like, oh yeah, that reminds me. God, I'm... Uh, yeah, because what he does here in a minute, like... I can't stand Is he even alive at the end? This is dumb. Not a fan, guys. Not a fan. You idiot. Get the hell away from there. Standing down fucking Metal Gear Ray. Didn't Olga just do this? Didn't we just see this? What do you mean? Where she was standing for, stood in front of Raiden and was like, I'm going to take this guy down, get out of the way, like, you know, run away. Mm hmm. Fortune's had a death wish the whole game, yeah. though. But not really, because she could turn the belt off at any time. Well, she didn't know that. <laughs> How did that not just kill everyone else, though? So it's is not she the belt. Is she protecting everyone? I don't know. If she actually Why would is. She care? I don't know. It's just weird. Like, how do, is this working, or is it really working? What the yeah, I, I, yep. I, I'm not sure how this how this works. I mean, does she have superpowers? Because again, when you know the Matrix is fake, you yeah. can manipulate all the rules. Right. So you're saying that Fortune's the one? Yeah, she's the Neo. <laughs> Like, wait, I can dodge bullets. But if she if she can dodge if she can block the missiles, why couldn't she block the bullet that's in her chest? My name is Helena. Her name's Helena. I have no idea. It doesn't make sense. And I don't think it's supposed to make sense. I think it's just supposed to be that like she's making a grand show before she dies, because she's a drama queen. So it's supposed to be that when Fortune was born, she was born with her heart on the wrong side of her chest. So that's why she was able to survive for so long. It's not because she has special powers. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's... Because that actually is a thing where people... Yeah, it's it. a real thing. So I think it's supposed to be that's why Ocelot was like weirded out that she was alive. Uh, but it's not because she can block bullets. It's because it was a, just a genetic, genetic defect. However, I think that the whole thing with uh -oh. the missiles going around them, I don't know if that's supposed to be like psychological or if it's part of a VR. I don't know. That's the uh -oh. one thing that doesn't really make sense. Uh-oh. This is so silly too. I mean, this is just as silly. This is the like this the, is this just is as like silly the best. As this is the best. Making no sense at all. Yeah. This is Kojima being like, I don't fucking care anymore. This is the end of the game and it doesn't even matter. So I should all I should point out. This Same, was supposed to be the, this was supposed to be the original end of the game. The game was originally supposed to end. Brothers! <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
And here, this is like, uh, this is Liquid and Ocelot's, uh, you know, campy flamboyance coming full circle. I've been waiting for this. So silly. So, what some people have said, and this is getting a little into Snake Eater, is that Snake Eater is supposed to, when you find out that who Ocelot's dad is, it's supposed to be that Liquid's bot spirit really is inhabiting his body. And that's why this is, it's not nano machines. it's not any of the other stuff that's introduced later in, in later series of the games. It really is supposed to be Liquid. No, but Metal Gear Solid 4. No, I'm saying ignoring that. Because every game retcons certain elements before it. That's why the whole thing of finding out who Ocelot's dad is in Metal Gear Solid 3 is supposed to re explain this. So it really, it really is supposed to be that he's possessed by liquid spirit in this game. That gets retcon, so don't, like, don't, like, freak out yet. That's changed later on. But this is supposed to be, it's supposed to be ironic that, uh, right before this, Ocelot had said there's no such thing as, as, uh, supernatural. And yet he gets, in, he gets, in, you know, possessed by Ocelot, uh, liquid's ghost. That's why his voice changes as well. So, one of the things that... And I was saying this earlier in the Tanker episode, this is almost a, like, exact recreation of the end of the Tanker chapter. Liquid. Stop this thing. Wow. <laughs> uh, look familiar? I like he sees him. This is coming. At this point, it really is, like this ritual that they've been doing over and over again. I mean, two years have passed since the Tinker incident. How many times has Snake followed Liquid um, around the world? Or followed Ocelot around the world doing these things? And even before that, with the program that he and Ocelot, I mean, Otacon had, Philanthropy. So the idea that uh, Kojima had originally is that that was supposed to be the end of the game. And he envisioned this game not having any conclusion, not having any closure, because it was supposed to be like a serial or a comic book. It was supposed to be a never-ending cycle of adventures that, like the X-Men, or Indiana Jones, or Batman. A Batman movie doesn't have a conclusive ending. It's always like, the Joker's always like, I'll see you again. Like the in Dark Knight, when the Joker says, I can see that we're going to do this forever. That was the idea that Kojima had, that this was going to be his last Metal Gear game, and it was supposed to live on in the viewer's imagination what happened next. And it was supposed to be our responsibility to come up with explanations for everything that we saw. 